Hello, and welcome to EasyWP, where we make WordPress easy. Today, we're doing an introduction of the WordPress admin dashboard. Let's check what menus and settings are available in the WordPress dashboard. First, in the top left corner, you'll see the name of the website. In our case, it's Photos for You. In the top right corner, you'll see the username and Gravatar image, if there are any. Gravatar is a photo associated with all of the posts you publish on your website. Now, let's check the navigation panel on the left side of your screen. It is divided into two sets of menus. The first set consists of Posts, Media, Pages, and Comments menus. You will use these to create and manage your website content. The second set is for Appearance, Plugins, Users, Tools, and Settings menus. These are used to manage your website's appearance and functionality. Let's review each of these menus in detail. Posts are dated content with author information that are displayed in chronological order on your website. You can also use them for press releases, product updates, or anything that should have a date attached. Or you can choose to hide the dates if you wish. Posts also allow you to set categories and tags so that it is easier to navigate between them. Let's create a post and check how it looks on the website. Pages are your static content pages. These are your home, about me, or contact pages, and anything else you might want to put in your main navigation menu. Unlike posts, pages generally do not have a date or author attached to them. Let's check which pages are already created for our website. We have About Us and Services. Let's add a new Contact Us page. Media is where you can find your media library. This is the location where all of your photos, graphics, PDFs, audio, and video reside after you upload them. Once you've added them to your media library, you can then drop any of that content into a post or page whenever you wish. Let's upload an image. Now we can use this image on the website, for example, in a post. Comments menu is where you can find all the pending and published comments. You can approve comments or edit them. The Appearance tab includes a number of options. Themes allow you to choose a theme from free options or upload one you purchased elsewhere in the format of archive. Let's change the appearance of our website by setting up an ASH theme. First, we need to search for it. Then a theme should be installed. Lastly, we need to activate a theme in order for it to be applied to the website. Done. Let's check how the website looks now. In order to deactivate a theme, it is required to switch to a different one as WordPress cannot operate correctly without a theme. If a theme does not work properly, we can switch to the default WordPress themes that are released every year. 
2019 or 2021. The Customize feature provides a separate menu where clients can change some of the settings within a designated theme, as well as set a logo and background color or pattern. The options here will vary considerably between themes and will reset if you switch to a different one. Widgets are bits of content you can drop into a blog sidebar or add to your page's header or footer. Menus give you the ability to choose which pages to display in your main navigation menu, put them in your preferred order, and even create drop-down submenus. For example, the menu on our website was created with the help of this menu. Theme Editor is the place where clients can modify the CSS cascading style sheets for the activated theme. It means that they change the look of the theme with the help of coding. We as managed WordPress representatives do not assist with such customization as it is considered web development. Let's move on to the plugins menu. This section allows you to install plugins available via the search or upload the ones purchased elsewhere. We recommend using only official sources for downloading WordPress plugins and themes because using unreliable resources could result in a security breach or harm your website. Let's install an Elementor Website Builder plugin, which acts as a drag and drop website builder for WordPress. The process of enabling a plugin for your website is similar to the way we work with themes. First, search for the plugin. Next, install it. Once installed, activate the plugin so its functionality is applied to the website. Now you see that a new deactivate button appeared. We can deactivate a plugin to stop its working. The next menu is Users. It allows you to create additional user roles for your website with a different level of access. This is handy if you have someone else building your website or working on a design for you. For example, you might hire content writers and they require access to only limited functionality, enough to add new content only. By default, there are five user roles available. Administrator, Editor, Author, Contributor, and Subscriber. Tools give you the option to import or export all of the content on your website. Posts, pages, media, and comments. Lastly, the settings section is where you can update your administration email address, website title, time zone, and more. That's all. 